Hello YouTube, today another video and today I'm going to talk about update 12.2. It is a relatively small update but probably a lot of work because there are a lot of renames in this update. First I'm going to tell you about the updates that are uh, in the front end and we'll start off with the mini graph template. I've changed it again, yes. Well now there is an option to add multiple entities to a single card, as you can see in this screenshot here. As you can see, in this card, there are four entities and in this one as well. You can add as many entities as you want. Now, in the devices, there is a new pop-up window for devices that have energy readings. So for example, the old pop-up window I'm going to show you right now is like this. The new pop-up window for devices that have energy reading, readings will look like this. So there is a new page. It has a status, a Wi-Fi signal, power draw, voltage draw, um, usage today, usage yesterday, total usage, all that good stuff is right here. This is a template I made specifically for uh, test motor devices. If you do not have a test motor device, you should probably make your own uh, pop-up card for this. If you do have test motor devices, it is relatively simple. You can copy the, the, the template and use the exact same config. Um, I'm gonna talk about a bit more about um, the renames because this update has a lot of renames. And the reason for it is simple. When I started to use Home Assistant, I never thought of sharing this to YouTube or GitHub or whatever kind of page. Um, and people asked me, could you please share your setup on GitHub? And I was like, okay, I can share my setup. But I never really thought of making this uh, available for as many people as I do now. So most of the questions I get are actually questions that are pretty legit to ask but really dumb of myself because those questions could have been avoided if I had chosen right names. So what I did now is rename everything slowly so that it will be more consistent, more comprehensible, and that it is easier to find your files and it will be easier for me to answer questions. For example, previously I had two light, uh, light dash um, popup dot yaml files. I will just call it light pop-up because it's easier to, to say that. Um, so I had two light pop-up.yaml files. I had one in decluttering templates and I had one in the pop-up cards. So when people asked me to change uh, something, I would tell them, well, it's easy. You can find it in the light pop-up.yaml file. But what would happen is that they wouldn't know which of those two files it was. So I had to tell them, which folder to look. So now all the templates have a template suffix. All the pop-up cards have a pop-up suffix. All the includes will just be normal names and all, this, all the views will reside in the same folder. Now it is a lot easier to find your templates and you now know exactly which one is an include and which one is a template. I am massively sorry for all these changes lately, but I am actually working towards a setup which is easier to maintain, not only for new users, but also for existing users and obviously for myself. Thank you for watching. These were all the updates in 12.2. I have a few side notes which will become uh, in uh, which will come in uh, Home Assistant 0.98. And um, those are two things. Um, the first thing is includes. Um, if you have been following me for a while and you have used parts of my setup, then you would know I use a lot of includes. Uh, when one of those includes have a wrongful path, a non-existing non -existing path or non-existing files, you might have already figured that the Lovelace page would not load and that you'd get a states UI instead. Well, obviously, this is not ideal because you, Home Assistant will not tell you where it has gone wrong. So you would have to uh, manually search for all the files 
and look at the includes and hope that you find the right one. Well, I've got good news for you because in Home Assistant 0.98, there will be uh, an error handler, handler and whenever you miss an include right now, you will find it in the, uh, in the error screen. Another thing is the child device tracker has also been fixed in 0.98. And if you use my tile uh, custom component right now, you can safely remove it when 0.98 drops. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon if you want to uh, be notified for all the new videos I post. And if you want me to talk about more and other stuff than just this setup, for example, how to flash a son off without soldering or how to um, how to flash uh, a magic home controller with soldering. If you want to see videos like that, please subscribe to my channel, comment in the sections below, and I might consider making those videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.